Hi everyone, it's Mark here, the anxiety expert here at Newcastle Hypnotherapy. And today we're talking about intrusive thoughts, how we can handle them, how we can resolve them, and how we can use them to be really positive and helpful in our life. Thanks again to everybody. I'm so grateful for all of you who send the questions, especially all of you who sent questions about intrusive thoughts today. So I'm going to answer as many of these as I can, so do watch to the end. So intrusive thoughts are really just another name for worry. It's funny how things get some different taglines and different names, but intrusive thoughts are just worries. It's amazing that we've been going through our day, something happens, and we think about something, something intrudes into our mind, we worry about it. And actually, it's quite a good skill. If we can learn to turn that skill around and use it to focus on something positive, it can make such a difference in our lives. So first of all, what are intrusive thoughts? Well, first of all, our mind naturally wanders back and forwards when we're not really focusing on things. I remember when I was at school, I was always getting uh, told off for daydreaming. You know, I wasn't really concentrating on the lesson, but something would come in and I'd follow that thought. And it's nice to do that if it's a nice thought. But if it's something that's a problem, if you're constantly thinking about what could go wrong, what have you done wrong? Have you done this in the past? Have you done that? That's when it becomes a problem and we need to take control and start to move on to them. So key is everybody has worry. Everybody has intrusive thoughts. Just some people are more sensitive to them. Some people are more aware from them. So it's interesting that we have them in different ways. So there's lots of different ways that we can deal with intrusive thoughts. And probably the best one is, is just, just constantly scan your mind and just notice what's going on in there. And you'll notice that things drift in and drift out. You can be trying to meditate and it gets worse. And the first thing you want to do is just examine them. You know, what is this thought? Is it real? Is it just a worry? Is it just a thought? Is it something that's moving in and out? And just spend a minute doing that, just concentrating on it for just one minute. And then what you want to do is mentally just push it along and say, thank you, and push it away. And that's one way to deal with it. The other way you can do it is say, what would I rather focus on? So if you're worrying about you're going to drive somewhere and there's going to be traffic jams. You could instead visualize on, I'm going to enjoy driving down this route. I'm going to see all the beautiful things and I'm going to get there on time. And you could build in that if something bad was to happen, is that you're going to just sit and enjoy the music. You could do something, maybe send a notification if it's safe to do so to tell somebody you're going to be a little bit late. And that's really how you want to deal with it. You can choose just to keep going, oh no, this intrusive thought's coming in and I'm really getting anxious about it, or okay, it's there, let's pass it on. What do I want to think about instead? And that's a much better way of doing it. But do remember that these thoughts are natural, they happen to everybody, so you're not alone, it's not a big thing. If you're overly sensitive to, to it, then that's when you need to get some help if it's starting to bother you or if it's going on. So one of the things you can do is you can decide how you want to react to things, decide what you want to do and how you'd rather work on this. So it is a better point to move into that positive zone as often as you can, rather than being on the negative side of it. One of the big points I see a lot with meditation is people say, it doesn't work for me. I sit there, I close my eyes, I relax, and all this crap comes into my mind. <laughs> and I've got to be honest, guys, unless you've spent thousands and thousands of pounds going up some mountain with a Japanese master, who's going to whack you on the back of the head to see how deep you are. That's going to happen to everybody. People keep going on about meditation, clearing the mind. And unless you're extremely good at this stuff, it won't happen to you. It will not happen. So what you need to do is to focus on what you do want to think about. So if you sit and you meditate and some rubbish comes in, again, same thing, mentally just pass it on and then decide what you want to think on and what you want to focus on. One of the best things that I've seen for sorting out intrusive thoughts is self-hypnosis. The whole point of self-hypnosis is that you change your mind, you spend your time deciding what you'd like to change, what you need to do, and when you learn those skills, you can focus your mind on what you need to. For business people, for people who want to make changes, for people who want to set goals, worry or intrusive thoughts are perfect. If you can hold that skill in your mind in the front there for a while, it shows that you can focus on something. And the idea is that when you worry about something, just think about 
actually, I want to set this goal. I want to do this. I want to get that done. Make a mental note and focus on something. You can think about it. So focus on something that you want to think about. And for business people, if they get up every morning and say, right, today I want to pull in six new customers. What do I have to do it? Every time a worry comes in, they switch it back to six new customers, five new customers, four new customers. And that's the way to work at it. So it's a really good skill. Now, there's one other big thing that comes into play when we talk about worry and intrusive thoughts. I find with an awful lot of clients who have severe worry, anxiety, or intrusive thoughts, they usually have a food problem. And I'm going to go on about this again. Yesterday, a video went up. You can have a look for it on our YouTube channel about artificial sweeteners causing problems. Now, there are certain foods that are toxic to us that aren't good for us. They're not health foods that can cause the mind to alter. Some of them can be alcohol. That usually makes it a lot worse for some people. Artificial sweeteners are really bad. Lots of processed sugars, white flowers, lots of junk additives, MSG, yeast, all of these things can make it worse. So what you might want to do is clean up your diet for say two weeks, notice how those intrusive thoughts go down, and then put that food back in and notice the difference. And you will find that some foods can make things much, much worse. I know a lot of people who have, um, if they have a good weekend on the alcohol on Monday, they feel a bit more jumpy and a bit more anxious and there's a lot more worry coming in. So it's all interesting. So there can be lots and lots of triggers for bringing it in. Let me just have a look at some of these comments. So the worry triggers the anxiety, not the anxiety triggering the worry. Well, that's interesting because that can be both ways. If we're an anxious person, we can trigger that worry to come in or that worry can make us feel anxious. So that can trigger both ways. The key to it is to use these skills to breathe. So breathing, as we keep talking about, is so important. Focus on something that you want to focus on, maybe clean up the diet. But yes, it can work both ways. So it's really interesting. A lot of people get anxious over being anxious or people get anxious over having a panic attack, which then causes a panic attack. And again, a lot of this is a vicious circle all the way around. So it's really interesting. So take some time to get in control of your thoughts. You could get up in the morning. What I recommend to a lot of people is get up, have a nice cup of green tea and think about all the positive things you want to have happen for that day. Visualize how your day is going to go. And then you can visualize that if a worry came in, how would you deal with it? Would you use some of the skills that you've learned? Will you breathe? Will you focus on something else? Just imagine yourself being in control. But be aware that anxious thoughts and worries aren't anything to get anxious about. They're just totally normal. And if you put the work in, you can make them an awful lot better. So if you need some more help with anxiety tips like this, one is we have a big video called my, my um, five secret tips to reducing and eliminating anxiety. You can find the link for that on the page. If you're wanting to get your anxiety sorted an awful lot quicker, your next step is to work with somebody who will really help you. If you'd like to discuss working with me and see if you're a good fit for our anxiety freedom program, simply click on the link for the strategy call, book that in and we can have a chat and see if that works for you. Keep those questions coming. Thank you very much for all of that. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel because there's lots more help there and we'll have another video in a day or two soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.